Um, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, um, The Dark Knight, um, terrible Christmas movie that I won't mention, um, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean 4, yeah. <laughs> do you know Johnny Depp? I do. And how do you know Johnny Depp? He is a good friend of mine. When did you first meet Mr. Depp? I met him um, summer of 2005. Um, it was actually at the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory premiere. My husband, Stephen, introduced me to him um, at a dinner after the premiere. And uh, yeah, he was super sweet and warm and kind of ushered us in to join him at dinner. And I remember being very nervous like I am now. Um, and yeah, that's when we first met. Uh, you say your husband, Stephen, introduced you to Mr. Depp. Yeah. Uh, how, did, how did your husband know him? I'm sorry? How did your husband, Stephen, know Mr. Depp? Oh, he started working with him on Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Um, he started off in production, but then um, joined the Depp department um, during the shoot. And does he still work for Mr. Depp? Yeah. And in what capacity? Um, well, he started off as like a personal uh, assistant, and it's kind of um, developed into a producer-writer type role with Johnny's guidance. Uh, so, for how long has he worked for Mr. Depp then? Eighteen years, I think. I think since two thousand four. Now, over those eighteen years, um, where has he been working? Um, all over the place. <laughs> It depends on where the film is is being shot. So, um, the Bahamas, Hawaii, London, LA, kind of all over. And have you? Where have you been during this time? Well, um, Stephen and I, our first two films were we worked on the same film, but then he went off to do Pirates, and I went off to do other films. So, I wouldn't always be with them. Um, I know that in between my projects, um, you know, Johnny was always mindful that me and Stephen didn't spend too much time apart, so he would usually be, you know, kind enough to um, fly me out uh, to be with them wherever they were. Okay. About how many times would that happen in a given year, if you can estimate for us? Um, two to three. Yeah, and it'd be like, you know, sometimes I'd be with them for like a month, sometimes just a couple of weeks. Okay. Uh, can you just generally describe for us very briefly um, your husband's relationship with Mr. Depp? Um, it's a great one. <laughs> it's, um, they are very close professionally and um, personally. Um, I know that Stephen um, really respects Johnny and looks up to him. And Johnny's been a, a mentor to him um, and has really encouraged Stephen's career um, develop. Um, uh, and they're great friends too. Okay. And can you just very briefly and very generally tell us what it was like on, on those time periods when you were spending time, uh, chunks of time with Mr. Depp and, and your uh, husband? Well, if the It's a basic Gross. foundational fact, Your Honor. Just... I, I'll, I'll allow it. That's fine. Go ahead. I go. I, okay. What was the question? Sorry. Just generally describe for us. Okay. What, so, so if they were if they were working, it would be, you know, like on wrap. We'd kind of have dinner together, um, and then I'd kind of entertain myself while the boys went off to work. <laughs> if it was during downtime, you know, he, it would. Um, probably be like a family holiday, so it would include his long-term partner, Vanessa, and their little kids, um, which was always really lovely, um, really happy memories there. Uh, so it kind of depended. Okay. Uh, how well would you say you know Mr. Depp? Very well. Okay. Over the course of your friendship with Mr. Depp, and I apologize, did you say it had been 17 years? I'm not great at maths, but 2005 to now, I think, is 17. Close <laughs> yeah. enough. Okay. 
Over the course of your friendship with Mr. Depp, have you ever seen Mr. Depp take drugs? Yes. And which ones? I've seen him smoke weed and um, occasionally uh, cocaine. Okay. Have you ever seen him drink? Yes. All right. Have you ever partaken of any of these substances at the same time? Yes. Okay. About how many times would you estimate you've seen Mr. Depp use cocaine? Oh, gosh. Um, I mean, it's usually like, a, you know, kind of a celebratory event, like after a gig or a, a party or something. Um, 20? I don't know. Um, 20 times over the... I don't know. Yeah, I... About 20 times? About, yeah. And yeah. that's over... And that's over I mean, one. yeah, I haven't been kind of keeping count, but... But it's not a it's not it's not a regular thing. It's sporadic. It's okay, and that's twenty times over what period of time? Gosh, um, I think like the last maybe ten years. Okay. And uh, how often have you seen Mr. Depp uh, consume alcohol? Um, since I've met him. Okay. Um, can you describe for us? Um, how Mr. Depp seems to respond to cocaine? Um, I quite honestly can't gauge much difference in his demeanor. Um, you know, this stuff kind of tends to make the average person a bit chattier and maybe stays up a bit longer than they should. Uh, but um, nothing out of the ordinary. Okay. Same question for alcohol. How would you say based on your interactions with him while he's drinking, how does he seem to uh, respond to it? Um, it's kind of annoying, but he, he doesn't... He holds his liquor very well. Um, so, uh, gosh, I... Kind of... Um, more jovial, or just... I've, I've never seen him... I've honestly never seen him, like, drunk, drunk never been with him in that kind of situation. Does he seem to drink to excess in your experience? No. Okay. Have you ever seen him get angry or violent while on cocaine? No, definitely not. Have you ever seen him get angry or violent while on alcohol? No. Ms. Duders, do you know Amber Laura Heard? Yes. And when did you first meet Ms. Heard? When did when did I? When, yes. Oh, um, well, we met kind of very briefly on the set of The Ron Diary, but you know, it was just kind of quick greeting in the craft tent, I think. And just so everybody's on the same page, um, what is The Ron Diary? The Rum Diary is a movie that we shot in 2009 in Puerto Rico. Um, and yeah, it starred Johnny and, and Amber. And I was, I, was, I was there with Stephen. That was one of the times that I wasn't working, so I traveled out to be with Stephen and I was, I was around. I did end up doing a little thing for the visual effects department, but mostly it was leisure for me. Was there anything noteworthy about your interactions with Ms. Heard on that occasion? No. Okay. When did you next meet Ms. Heard? We, on, I think a couple of years later, um, Rum Diary Press Tour, I went to the premiere in London. And again, it was just a kind of, um, you know, greeting, it wasn't, we didn't kind of hang out, chat properly or anything. And again, just so, just so everybody's on the same page, what is a press tour? A press tour is when, um, when a film comes out, the actors and the director usually travel around with um, the film and show it in different cities all over the world and um, the actors usually have to do interviews to promote it and just get the word out. And this was a press tour for Run Diary? Yeah. And what city were you in? I, I went to the London one. Okay. And as, 
Does anything stand out to you about your interactions with Miss Hurd on that occasion? No, she, no. Okay. Were you aware at that point that Mr. Depp and Miss Hurd had started a relationship? Yes. And how were you aware? Because um, Depp's team, oh, Johnny's team, sorry, um, Johnny's team, um, there's just always an open, constant flow of information. Um, you know, because ultimately, you know, Jerry Judge w would be looking after Johnny, so would kind of get updates as to where they were going and what he was doing. And so in that way, we got kind of, you know, notification, <laughs> notified that, uh, you know, they just got together. And you mentioned a name there, Jerry Judge. Can you just tell the jury who that is? <sighs> Um, okay, I don't want to be upset, but Jerry Judge was Johnny's long-term security um, uh, guy, and he, yeah, was a dear, a dear individual. Um, we all loved him very much, and he was he was like family. He was like a dad, um, and unfortunately, he passed away. When did you next see Miss Hurd after the press tour uh, in London? Okay, so that's, that was like 2009. Um, I think it was on a trip that we accompanied Johnny and Amber on to Las Vegas for a few days. And can you estimate for us, just approximately, when that was? Oh, maybe that was 2012. I'm so sorry, like, um, um, I, 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 I'm, I'm blanking on the, on the date, um, but it, it would have been after they you know, started seeing each other maybe a, a couple of months afterwards, um, and we just went out there for a few days. I don't, I don't remember if it was just like a little excursion for them, um, or if Johnny had something to do there. I don't remember that. It was just for like two, three days. Anything stand out to you about that trip? Um, I was kind of excited to meet Amber, you know, because she was Johnny's new girl and um but I remember kind of trying to you know kind of make eye contact and um it, yes um I kind of felt a bit ignored which is fine you know we're staff or whatever so I didn't I didn't really chat with her when you say staff, what, what, what do you Well, think? I mean, I'm, I'm not employed by Johnny, but, you know, I'm obviously Stephen's wife, and he's staff, and, um, yeah, I, I didn't really interact with her. Okay. Um, so can you kind of describe what happened when you saw her then, if anything? Um, no, no, nothing, nothing of note, just... Um, that she didn't really engage or um, make, you know, I, yeah, just didn't really acknowledge her, okay. our presence. Did you see uh, Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd interact at all yeah. on that trip? Yeah. Okay, and can you describe that for us? They seemed pretty in love. Um, they were tactile and um, you know they seemed happy okay when did you next meet Miss Hurd um, when Johnny and Stephen had gone out on location to shoot the Lone Ranger so I think that might have been the next year so bad with dates sorry um, yeah, so, oh, um, so, um, you know, I think through Johnny and Stephen, Amber and I were, um, kind of put in touch and we went vintage shopping together and, um, 
uh, went to get a coffee once um, and and then with Johnny and Stephen kind of looked around some galleries, um, art galleries. About how long would you say the period was that you and this herd were together in this time frame? How long were we both out on location? Right, yeah. I'm not sure about her and, and I know that I know that I personally made two trips, um, which seemed to coincide with her being there. So it, you know, it was nice, um, and um, you know, kind of meeting up to go vintage shopping. She was really, really lovely, really sweet. We got on very well, um, and it was fun. It was, yeah, you know, she's very charming. Did you discuss her relationship with Mr. Depp at all? Um, I remember like going for a coffee um, and she seemed a bit, um, just a bit kind of frustrated that uh, I, I don't think Johnny was ready to go public with their relationship yet. Um, and um, I think that was, you know, frustrating. For her. Did you form an impression that she wanted to go public immediately? All right, I'll sustain as to speculation. Next question. Were you out in public? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yes. Um, when you were interacting with Miss Heard in this time frame, did you notice at all whether she was wearing makeup? No, I don't think she was wearing makeup. Um, she's naturally beautiful. It's, um, I remember, you know, just thinking how gorgeous her skin was and how, yeah, pretty she was. And, I mean, how, how could you tell that she wasn't wearing makeup? Anymore? Well, I um, consider myself to be quite <laughs> the makeup expert. Um, you know, earlier on in my adult life, I kind of got hormonal acne which was awful so I got kind of professional at covering that up um, so I think I'm pretty good at telling if someone's wearing you know like foundation or concealer uh, have you ever heard of arnica cream yes in fact um, I actually was using it the other week um, you can you can use the microphone just I just having trouble hearing you I'm sorry Oh, there you go. It's on. There you go. The question was, have you ever heard of it? And she answered it and then continued, Pat. So it's... All right. She's answered the question. She's answered the question. All right. If you want to ask another question. Oh, sure, you're on. Uh, what is it? It's a homeopathic uh, lotion that you use to um, help bruises heal faster. And have you ever used it yourself? Yes. I was using it a couple of weeks ago because I had a huge bruise on my hip after I had a fall. Okay. Um, yeah, so I know what it is. And can you just describe for those of us who have no idea, like myself, um, what does Arnica cream look like? Um, oh, sorry, that was me. Um, it's kind of like a white emollient cream, um, opaque, that you rub into your skin. Um, you rub into the bruise. Once it's been rubbed in, what does it look like? Transparent. Okay. So is the bruise still visible? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Mm. All right. I'll as to leading. Understood. Okay. All right. After uh, after after that, uh, those interactions with Ms. Hurd on the set of um, Lone Ranger in, uh, did you say 2013? I'm sure not sure if that's an objection, but... I'll, I'll, no, I'll, no, I'll no, withdraw no, the date, Your right. Honor. Just, just after after right. your interactions uh, with Ms. Heard on the set of The Lone Ranger, uh, Ms. Duders, when did you next uh, when do you next recall seeing Ms. Heard? I think it was on the press tour for The Lone Ranger. Um, by that point, I believe they their relationship was public, and um, we travelled to Japan with um, the kids, Johnny's kids and her friend, um, Brittany, who I think was, you know, along as Amber's friend, but also to help, 
take care of the kids while, you know, Johnny was working and... Okay. And why, why were you traveling to Japan again? Um, because the Lone Ranger was premiering there and they were doing press. And then we also traveled like to um, Berlin, I think, as well, and all around. Were you traveling with Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurt? Yes. Okay. Did you witness any interactions between Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurt on these trips? Um... I mean, just generally on the plane, um, nothing to note. I'm, there was um, an incident, like when we were all at dinner together. Um, and when I say we all, I mean also the other actors and the producers and director. Um, and I noticed that Johnny was kind of hiding a drink on the side of his chair and taking secret sips um, and 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 I just I, I noticed you know she, she kind of saw that and was quite angry about it and um, I couldn't hear what, what was said but he seemed to get me kind of getting it got told off by you know the telling off um, which is it was kind of weird you know it's a bit like um, telling off a child what was he drinking? I think, it was, I think it was champagne. Okay, like a flute of champagne? Yeah, something like that. Okay. Um, did anything... Do you have any impressions of... How, how would you describe their body language when they were having this conversation? Um, uh, um, quite... Um, you know, I think she was really angry, so, um, uh, I'm so, um, yeah, I, um, <laughs> just, okay. uh, just kind of like dominant and, and, um, just very angry and, you know, putting just, Telling you know him off. Okay, and how would you describe his body language? Um, I think you know quite uh, just exhausted by the whole being told off like a child. Okay. Over this period of time, and just to clarify. Um, were Miss Hurd and Miss Depp public at this point? Yes. Okay. So it was. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Well, I mean, when we arrived at airports, there was like photographers everywhere. So, and they, and we, you know, it wasn't very public. I, yeah. Okay. Over this period of time, then after they'd gone public, did you uh, ever witness them together? Um, did you have a perspective on their interactions in general? Do you, is your mic is it on? I'm just pushed it. I'm sorry. There now it is. Okay, thank you. All right, objection. Of relevance foundation leading. Project. Well, their interactions are directly relevant, Your Honor. Uh, I can lay more foundation if the court wants. You don't lay foundation. That's fine. Uh, did you ever witness Miss Hurd and Mr. Depp together in this time period? Um, sorry, could you repeat? Sorry, if, I know you said it a few times, but could you just repeat it one more time? Of course. Um, over this next couple of years uh, yeah. after after the press tour for mm -hmm. um, Lone Ranger, did you have occasion to interact with Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd at the same time? Did you see them together? Um, very rarely. Okay. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking maybe a dinner here or there. Okay. Yeah. From those occasions when you did see them, did you form any impressions about how they were getting along based on their interactions with each other that you personally witnessed? Uh, I still don't think he established the foundation. It's been a few few times that he, he saw a couple dinners and she's asking for his, her perspective on their relationship. All right. On those particular occasions. What, what's the relevance of her impressions? I'll rephrase her. Okay. 
How would you describe their interactions on those occasions when you witnessed them? It's the same, same thing, Aaron. There's still no foundation. If she's present. I'll, I'll allow it if it's fine. Um, I, they seemed okay. I mean, uh, you know, they could be quite tense. Um, but nothing, nothing to note, nothing I would okay. um, remark on. Were you invited to their wedding? Yeah, yes. And, and did you attend? Yes. Okay. Can you just generally describe for us what the wedding was like? It was definitely a predominantly amber event. In You're watching live now from Fox, everybody. Some of you are going to see a quick two-minute break. Stay right here with us. More coverage from around the country. mentioned that you traveled with Mr. Depp and Ms. Heard to Japan and Berlin and possibly other locations as well. Uh, can you tell us where else you traveled with them? Um, well, after the wedding, we headed to Australia. And why did you go to Australia? Because that's where Johnny would be shooting Pirates 5. Okay, and, and approximately when do you think you were in Australia? I think that I flew with Johnny and, um, and Jerry Judge um, and Stephen and a few others. Um, I think that was February. Um, and, um, and, and Johnny stayed in a house... Um, and Stephen and I were based like a 35 minute drive away on the shoreline in the hotels um, and I think Amber flew in a while afterwards okay uh, you said you thought it was February do you recall the year yes I do 20, 2015 okay. um so just so we have the cast of characters clear, who who from this group was in Australia at this point? 
Um, so we've got um, on the plane that I was on, it was Johnny, Jerry Judge, Stephen Dutas, um, Debbie Lloyd, and myself, and maybe one of maybe one other. Okay. Um, you mentioned the name there. I don't think we've heard before. Can you just tell the jury quickly who Debbie Lloyd is? Okay. You're excused, ma'am. You can have. You're excused. So, just so we have the cast of characters clear, who who from this group was in Australia at this point? Um, so we've got um, on the plane that I was on. It was Johnny, Jerry Judge, Stephen Dutas, um, Debbie Lloyd, and myself, and maybe one of maybe one other. Um, you mentioned the name there. I don't think we've heard before. Can you just tell the jury quickly who Debbie Lloyd is? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, we just have to take a few housekeeping matters up, so we're just going to have you take a, a recess for a few minutes, okay? So again, no outside research and don't talk to anybody, okay? Ms. Tudors, I just had a question for you. Have you been watching the trial this past week? Um, I've seen clips of it online, yeah. You've been watching, so you have seen parts of this trial? Yeah. Okay, and witness testimonies? Yeah, I've seen clips of it. You've seen it, thanks. Yeah. All right, does anybody have any follow-up questions? Uh, Ms. Ms. Tudors, um, have you been watching it doesn't matter. She's been watching clips of witness testimony. All right. You're excused, ma'am. You can have your excuse. Okay. Thank you. I will, I will instruct the jury that I'll have to strike the testimony of Ms. Dewars. There's a rule on witnesses, Mr. Monas. I understood, Your Honor. This is All the right. first word. I, 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 I believe that. I have no doubt in my mind that this is the first you've heard of it. Have a good day, ma'am. Thank you. I, 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 Mr. Hop, I got it the first time. Thank you. That was a moment right there that the uh, witness was excused there by the judge, dismissed, and uh, all of her testimony uh, has to be now uh, struck from the record. You're watching live now from Fox, everybody. Thank you again for joining us.